Hi guys, Robbie here. In today's video, I wanted to show some arpeggio shapes I've been working on for creating outside tension on dominant chords. These arpeggios are gonna imply sounds from either the altered scale or half old diminished scale, and we're using their major triad pairs to construct each arpeggio. I've created fingerings for these shapes played from both the E string and A string, and to keep things simple, each example is gonna be built from a C root note, so these arpeggios will work over a C7 chord or C dominant harmonic function, but we can of course transpose these shapes to any key. I've put together a PDF with all the examples written out and analyzed, so if you want a more detailed look into these ideas, you can find that on my Patreon page. With that said, let's get into the concept. Before we get into the arpeggio shapes, we first need to go over which major triads we'll be using to create our various dominant tension options. If you do want to skip the theory, you can use the timestamps below to jump straight to the arpeggio shapes. So the triad pairs of C altered, or its parent scale D flat melodic minor, is a G flat major and an A flat major triad. Now when voicing either of these triads within a C7 chord or phrase, it brings out certain intervallic combinations that imply strong sounds from the C altered scale. Now, I will be doing a more in-depth look into this triad pair concept in one of the next videos where we'll break it down from the ground up, so keep an eye out for that. But today is really just about showing you some cool arpeggio shapes for you to start practicing and using. Uh, but I have created some really in-depth studies on triad pairs which you can check out on my Patreon in the meantime. So, first looking at the G flat major triad. When playing this chord over a C7, we get a C7 with a flat nine and a flat five. Now, this chord is a sound that could actually come from either a C altered or C half hold diminished, as G flat major is a triad that's found in both scales. Uh, but we'll talk more about the half hold diminished triads in a second. For the A flat major triad over C7, we instead get a C7 with a sharp 9 and a sharp 5. So, this is a really classic altered dominant sound that's unique to the altered scale. Moving on to the triads found within the C half hold diminished. Because of this being a symmetrical octatonic scale, we actually get four major triads which we can use. If you want to learn more about why that is, I did a huge breakdown video of the symmetrical diminished scale, which I really recommend you check out. I've linked it below in the description. Back to these triads, we get a C major, E flat major, G flat major, and A major triad. Now C major over C7, doesn't really give us any interesting extensions, so we won't be using that one. And we already mentioned the G flat major triad. But the E flat and A work great over C7, and they are definitely sounds we can use. E flat major over C7 gives us a C7 sharp 9 sound, but voiced with a perfect fifth in there, which is pretty interesting and quite distinctive. A major over C7 gives us a really musical C13 flat 9 sound, which works great for dominant tension. So those are all the triads we'll be using to create this collection of outside dominant arpeggio shapes. It's worth mentioning that solely arpeggiating the triad isn't always enough to fully demonstrate the tension that these notes provide. For example, a G flat major triad over C7 provides the flat 5, the flat 7, and the flat 9. Now, these are excellent intervals that create tension on a dominant chord. However, we might not fully appreciate the effect of these intervals unless they are heard in the context of other C7 chord tones. Because of this, I've blended each triad with selected C7 chord tones to create these arpeggio shapes. This helps the triad stand out in a way that highlights its intended use of implying dominant tension. So let's get into the first arpeggio shape using the G flat major triad over C7. So I'm using all the notes from a G flat triad together with the note C. And as you can hear, all we need is just that one extra note that's coming from the C7 to bring out the effect of using this triad. For the same arpeggio, but built from the A string, we can do something like this. Moving 
Moving on to the next triad, A flat major over C7. So because an A flat major triad already has a C in it, I'm using the note E as my added note from C7 instead. And again, including this note just helps to bring out the intended use of this triad. The A string shape. Here's the next triad, A over C7. This one's giving us that lovely C13 flat nine, and I've actually chosen to add two C7 chord tones to pair with the A major triad. I use a B flat note when ascending. And then when descending, I actually use a C instead of the B flat. This is just because I like the sound of using both those notes, but you can of course only add the B flat or only the C. You just need to experiment and find what you prefer. Same thing for the A string shape. Finally, for our last triad E flat major, I'm including an E natural to bring out the cluster between E flat and E, which helps to imply a stronger C7 sharp nine sound. I think I prefer the A shape for this one, but both are a bit tricky. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy adding these arpeggio ideas to your rep. If you found the video useful, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with more videos and lessons. Have fun practicing and I'll see you in the next one.